Right folks, so for two days later, I've plugged this into the mains and we're now lit up on the mains power supply. So I set it up on Mr. Chippy's bench, actually with a more accurate multimeter than this. But we'll use the uh, Lidl or Andy, Aldi, did I say Andy, Aldi, whatever it is. point nine right so we'll key up let's put the power meter on picture in picture so four watts because we're on the 30 watt scale four watts is just there that's five that's four so we're on channel 20 we better unplug the extension speaker. Try again. We're in deviation. In the wrong scale. Oh my god, it's at five point it's at four point eight on this power supply. Right, we'll get that um, reset to a lower voltage. Which says 13.2 in the book. Difficulty is getting a tool in on a vertical preset. Try it there, 13. Oh, there we are. Leave the tool in. It's 4.4. Right. Theoretically, we should just have to turn that one anti clockwise. It's 4.05. Let's try it on channel 40. 4.05. Channel 1, 4.05. Now, as it transmits, it's going to drop down. So, that's certainly. And you put that on a Zitagi meter, it'll be 7 watts. There we go. The uh, kit's been, we use the Tandy one, but it also appears as other makes. And um, this one, this particular one, came from Vellum and BE. Um, so there's the barcode on it and I'll zoom in on the barcode especially if I put it in a place where we're expected to focus Right, go back to normal position. So the set's done. So when we had it on the power supply, we got 3.95, 3.95, it's 4.05 throughout. We can let it go at that. And, uh, and that's on its internal power supply. Really good received, 0.22 microvolts. We're done.
Well, yeah, so the only thing which had really had finger trouble was the PA, where somebody had uh, done a tweak up, but actually ended up bringing up the spurious emissions rather than bringing up the power. And then breaking two of the cores. Right, let's withdraw this tool. Just like that. And we'll start putting it together. And then we'll do an on the air test. Right, well we put back back we are put back together. That's not very visual, is it? So I did um, rub down the worst of the rust, do a zinc coat, under coat and three top coats. The idea is not for perfection. Whoever buys this can if they want perfection they can do that or arrange to do that. The idea is to tidy it up. Uh, whoops. Uh, it's important to me, I mean, it's the same with the pipe organs, there's a limit to what I cosmetically want to do because of the age. Let's do that across a bit. And you will now see if I dare tilt it up that we've got all the knobs, they've all been through the dishwasher and so's the, uh, the case. What's that? If something. Uh, yes, so there we are. I'll tell you what, shall we put, you know, we'll prop it up a bit on something just for the visuals. It's always difficult with sets this size. I can't put it on its back because of the aero socket. I'll just have to be here like this. Um, so, what was I going to spout about? So, just listen to it on the mic we've been doing. Testing one, two. And we'll just try it on. Is that battery going to be any, any use? No. What about one of our cameras? Right, I just want to change the mic, so we're going to put a brand new replacement coffin mic on, which this will be sold with. So we've got three of these left, and that's the end of those then. And it seems to me that all the ones that are for sale now aren't screen leads. These were originally a coffin mic, but of course it said Midland on it. Testing one, two. Sounds just the same, which is fine. All right, switch the test gear off. Take that away, take that away. And I'll just tilt it as best I can. Oh, I'm, I'm on the aerial, I'm on the aerial. Um, I'll tell you what, prop it up by putting the walkie talkie under the back so that it's not on the aerial. There we go, bit of clearance now. Bring that in a bit, you don't want to see my bare legs. Let's move the camera very slightly. Okay. Oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? Look, well, that knob's not pushed on properly. See on an off switch. Full power, one nano roger. That's not full power, that is. One nano roger.
on the Roger. Oh. You know what? From that, you'd think it was a 10-1 set. What is it, 0.22 microvolts? Anyway, we'll be doing it on the air test. And then this radio will go on eBay on Friday. And we'll probably get less than we paid for it. Uh, I paid far too much for it, but you know, there you go. I'd want to deal with things which were with the batch. And this is going out with a new mic. So there we are. It's tidied up. It's electronically absolutely spot on. And that is the thing with a rebuilt power supply. Um, what more can you say? 76900. Thanks for watching.